Okay, guys, we are, as soon as I get this thing adjusted, there we go. Okay, we are making a super, super easy four ingredient cheese ball, and it couldn't be any easier. So, actually, five, technically five ingredients because that's just personal preference. Um, first of all, we've got our handy dandy Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire Shire sauce. <laughs> This is a mixture here of shredded corned beef and pastrami. Three packs, it's actually three packs of this size corned beef. It's three of these, and then it's two of the pastrami. And then we've got our diced green onions, which, and let me just say this, get yourself a pair of scissors, it'll change your life. Um, all you gotta do is wash the onions, and then literally, you know, cut them up with the scissors. It take it's it takes so much less time, so much less cleanup. And I do the same thing with the lunch meat. I um, actually take the scissors and just cut that up too. So here we go. So first, we're going to add our first. We're just going to because basically, it's just I've got four packages of Philadelphia cream cheese. So I'm going to put in, because I like green onion in mine. I like to be able to taste my green onion in it. And then I'm going to put in approximately two, three, four. I'm going to say about four tablespoons of Worcestershire Shire sauce. And then I'm going to put in my lunch meat. Now, I want to mix my lunch meat up a little bit because I didn't do that prior to starting to film. And so there we go. Okay. So now, and actually, let me start, let me get the mixing process going here because I want to be able to fold everything in and not have an issue. Now. I did see a recipe for, you can put this in the blender, but then it whips air into it, and so you don't really want to do that. And all of my cream cheese was not room temperature, so, you know, you get what you get. Um, but anyway, so, what was I going to say? Oh, I saw somebody put um, bacon into theirs, too, and that looked like that was going to be absolutely magical so alrighty so we've got our basic mixture blended here together as you can see and if it's too it should be you know it should look like this. If it looks like clumpy, um, looks like clumpy Philadelphia cream cheese and add a little bit more Worcestershire. Um, so now we're going to add in our, our meat. Now I'm reserving, uh oh, I'm reserving the rest of my meat and you will see why. Mix this in here real good. And this really is like the easiest cheese ball. side of it and you know this is one of those personal taste things people you don't have to do it exactly like I do it if you're like oh that's too much meat oh I don't like meat don't put meat in it then you know roll the outside of it in walnuts or something 
Okay, so I think we're pretty good on our basic cheese ball here. So, be right back. Okay, so what I've done here is, and I'm rinsing off my hands here while I'm talking to you. I've laid out the rest of my meat on my little plate. And so now I want to take my cheese ball mixture here that I've got. This dude here I'm taking and I'm kind of rolling them into a ball um, right here so he's a little bit easier to maneuver. So I'm going to put him kind of right there and then we're going to roll them around in the meat. Okay. The rest doesn't want to come off of there. All right. There we go. Now, this is for now keep in mind, this is for my family. I've washed my hands. And I'm going to shape him now into the size, shape, ball of my, of my choosing. But I want to try to make sure I get as much meat attached to him as I possibly can on the outside. because he is going to be delightful with some crackers and I'm going to pat him down some because he's easier to it's just easier that way serving now he is this is room temperature I'm going to put him I'm going to wrap him in some saran wrap and then I am going to chill him for a little while so that he can get re-solidified. There we go. So, he's going to be beautiful. Just beautiful. 